What's up guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot using your Microsoft Edge browser. Before we jump in guys, would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. So if you're inside a Microsoft Edge browser and you want to take a screenshot of anything, whatever it might be, let's say I want to take a screenshot of the search here. Click the three dots on the upper right hand side and you will see screenshot, right? You can, you can either come here and press it or as it says, you can press Control, Shift and S. So you can do a Control, Shift and S and it will go ahead and it will open up the screenshot within the browser for you. So you can simply go ahead and take the screenshot of the section that you want. And from here, you have the option to copy, to paste, or to do markup capture, or as you can see, it shows some visual search here. So you can click the markup, for example, and you can write whatever. So let's say you want to write search, or you want to write whatever it might be that you want to write there, you can go ahead and you can do that, right? Or if you don't want that and you want to remove it, you can click erase and it will go ahead and erase all of those things for you as well, right? So you can go ahead and you can erase whatever it will give you the brush and you can simply erase them and otherwise you can go ahead and you can draw as i showed you before you can click on the draw you can also change the thickness of the pencil or the color or whatever it might be you can go ahead and make it as thick as possible and you can write whatever you want right so go ahead and do that and from there just simply go ahead and click and save and it will save it to your computer now you can go ahead and open up that screenshot afterwards or click more it will show you where it's saved and you can go ahead and you can find it on your computer so you can open it from here and it will open up the file that you have saved or let's say saved to your computer or you can go ahead and you can find that file to your computer so you can go ahead and either search for the file folder here if you want to know where it is stored and you can go ahead and you can open that specific folder by hovering over the folder you will see it, it will take it to the folder and you will be able to see where it is stored so temporarily as you can see it's an update a local and temp and microsoft edge downloads you'll find the file there so you can easily go ahead and find it here so if you're not sure where to find those files you can look for this location here as it is shown here or you can always go back to the recent downloads right so let's say i close out of that you can come here to downloads as well by clicking downloads and you can see more downloads and you can find the file here and you can open up those folder as well so this is how you can easily do it guys and of course you can always go ahead and change the location for downloads within the edge browser as well but i want to mention that while you click on the folder here and it says this is the path if you want to go ahead and save the files directly once you go ahead and make screenshot you can easily go ahead and make screenshots and save them directly to your download so let's say i want to go ahead and i want to make a screenshot and i want to download you can go ahead and you can make the screenshot here then click and save and once you go ahead and click and save you can simply click here and then you will be able to see the downloads in the upper right hand side click save as and you can save it to your downloads directly instead of going to the temp right so this is the two ways you can find those screenshots that you take. If you don't save them, they're stored in temp. You can easily go there and grab them or you can directly save them as and put them into your downloads folder if you so desire. Here you have it, guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.